Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Pardon the camera angle. I've got the camera set down kind of low to shelter it from the wind. But uh, anyway, we're out at the range again today testing another experimental shotgun slug. So these are what I'm tentatively calling the game spike, uh, because on the one hand, if you set them up on the base, they kind of look like something you might use to play chess or you know some other board game with. But on the other hand, if they work well as a shotgun slug, then you might very well use them for harvesting big game. So the name has uh, kind of a double meaning, uh, sort of a play on words. In any case, as you can see, it consists of a sub-caliber core, about 38 caliber, that then flares out to the diameter of a 12-gauge bore at the base. And my thought is that uh, this would have potentially three advantages. One, more aerodynamic than a traditional foster slug. Uh, two, possibly offer better penetration characteristics than a traditional foster slug. Uh, and three, the geometry of the base may provide enough drag stabilization to allow these to be used effectively in both uh, rifle barrels and smooth bores, uh, you know, to function effectively with or without spin stabilization. So uh, I've got the Jefferson out here today uh, with both the uh, rifled barrel, which is currently on it, and I've also got the smooth bore barrel out here. Uh, so we're going to try shooting these out of both, uh, both barrels and see how they perform. Well, of the first three that I fired through the rifled barrel, all three of them hit sideways and not all that close together. So they definitely don't seem to do too well through the rifled barrel. Let's see if they do any better through the smoothbore. Well, out of the smooth bore, we're definitely seeing a more centered uh, group, possibly a little bit tighter. I'd say that's about a 10 inch group, which at 25 yards out of a shotgun is maybe marginally acceptable accuracy. Uh, out of a rifle or even a handgun, that would be considered pretty poor accuracy, but shotguns tend to be held to a little bit lower standard in that regard. Uh, nevertheless, not great accuracy, and as we can see, a lot of these are still hitting sideways, so they're not stabilizing, they're not flying stably, and if they're not flying stably, then we're not going to get the uh, perceived benefits that I thought we might have of improved aerodynamics or improved penetration. So, looks to me like this is another design that seemed like it had potential, but just didn't work in practice. Uh, now, I'm not quite sure why it didn't work. Uh, I did find some fragments of the plastic four sabots that I was using, uh, which tells me these were probably fracturing under the G-shock of acceleration during firing, 
uh, and so the sabot may have been disintegrating as the bullet left the barrel. That said, by looking at the shape of these fragments, it looks to me like these still would have kept the projectile or the uh, central core of the projectile centered in the bore as the bullet was going down the barrel, uh, even if the sabot uh, had already cracked under the G-shock of acceleration. So the sabot design is something that probably could stand improvement, but I don't think I can blame the failure of the slug itself on a malfunction of the sabot in this case. So, yeah, I don't know what to say other than uh, another try, another failed design, uh, but hopefully you still found this entertaining, and until next time, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.